God, I have to sneeze. <laughs> okay, this is so cool. Oh my God, I can't believe this worked. I'm so excited. If someone else feels this way and they feel less alone, it's worth saying. I'm gonna start off by blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Maybe that's why I'm so annoyed right now. Maybe that's why I have like no patience and I'm starving and now I'm not starving and I'm annoyed and whatever. Hello guys, good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome back to my channel. We're making whipped coffee. Okay, so I know that this trend has been going on for like almost a month now, but I finally got my instant coffee in the mail and I'm so excited to make whipped coffee. But what I think I'm gonna do is kind of use it as a coffee whipped cream because I feel like instant, all instant coffee tastes like trash. So I'm gonna make myself a shot of espresso, make myself some whipped coffee, and let's see how it goes. I'm so excited. Obviously you have to make a TikTok to go with it because if you didn't put it on TikTok, did you even make it? Good morning, mister. Oh, good morning. <laughs> My hair is so greasy right now. I legit just woke up. What time is it? I woke up like an hour ago. So it's 10 o'clock now. So I woke up at nine on a Sunday. That's not bad. I'm gonna use an electric mixer because I don't wanna be here all day whisking. I want coffee and I want it now. So I'm gonna use an electric mixer, but you can use a whisk, a spoon, a fork, I'm sure whatever, but you're just gonna be there forever whisking it up. Let's see how this smells. It doesn't smell bad. This is what the coffee crystals look like. It actually looks kind of pretty. I put two tablespoons of the instant coffee in here. The bowl's a little bit wet because I just washed it. I'm actually gonna try using agave and seeing if it works because I don't wanna use white sugar because it's bad for you. And I don't have any other sugars. I don't have coconut sugar, which I usually would use. Hashtag quarantine probs. I'm sorry, I'm so nasally. I have the worst allergies ever. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of agave. See if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll just make it over again. No big deal. It says hot water, so I'm gonna heat up some hot water in a mug. Okay, so I heated up some water. As you can see, it's steaming in the microwave. And you need two tablespoons of hot water. I'm nervous because I used agave instead of sugar, but moment of truth. freaking worked it worked oh my god this is so cool okay now time for the good part i'm not gonna put my espresso in because i tasted this foam and it tastes really strong on its own so i'm gonna just try it as is first Oh my God, I love this so much. So this is the finished product. Okay, it's hard to mix. My ice cubes are like all sticking together. Babe. Why is this so good? Oh my God, this is so good. And I used agave instead of sugar. So I'm sure you could use like maple syrup, Stevia, whatever you want. Oh my God, I can't believe this worked. I'm so excited. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so this might sound crazy to some of you guys, but I got this comforter from Target and it's so cute. I love the velvet like apricot aesthetic. It's like amazing, but underneath, it's this like silky material that gets really scratchy like on your feet and like dry skin. I know that sounds kind of gross. This is my old comforter and it's so plushy and I love it. So I sleep on top of this comforter with that comforter because I like how this one looks, but I like how that one feels better. And then I just love throw blankets. 
Is that like so unnecessarily extra? Probably. This coffee is so bomb. It's so cheap. I ordered it on Amazon and it was like $4. So fun thing to try at home. I know I'm late to the trend and whatever, but I'm here. It's amazing. We're living. I don't know what my neighbor's having done on their house that's so freaking loud outside, but I was like sweating, so I had to change into a t-shirt and open my windows. So, oh, it stopped. These are my little succulent babies, and I have my one little misfit over there. But this says that the soil should be damp, but not overly saturated, so it says to like stick your finger in it to make sure that the soil is like damp. So I'm just checking to make sure that we're all good. I think these two need a little, little spritz. Okay, now everybody's taken care of. I cannot wait for these things to start growing and give you guys updates on them because I'm so excited. They're gonna be so cute. And this is what the process looks like, trying to pick an outfit to film a makeup tutorial. Very frustrating because I gained some weight, which is okay. And if this were to happen a few years ago, I probably would have been devastated, wouldn't want to take pictures, wouldn't want to leave my house, definitely wouldn't be putting myself on YouTube or on the internet, but um, I gained some weight and a lot of my clothes don't fit me the same right now. And it's very frustrating putting on outfits and looking in the mirror and not liking how your body looks. Therefore, I don't want to film a video because I'm just upset and frustrated, so. <sighs> that's an honest, that's an honest Sunday update. Um, I know I'm not the only one out there that feels like that, so that's why I don't mind saying it on the internet. If someone else feels this way and they feel less alone, it's worth saying and worth mentioning. But I haven't really bought myself new clothes in a few months. Um, I love shopping. I mean, like, it's not like I like to just throw my money left and right and buy clothes, but I do enjoy fashion and style and buying new outfits and putting pieces together just like makes me like feel good and makes me happy. But I haven't wanted to do that in a while and now I'm just like kind of like I don't want to film this video because I don't like how I look. I don't like how my hair looks today. I feel like my face looks round because we had takeout last night and I feel bloated from all of the salt and I can't find an outfit. And I'm still working on this um, whipped coffee from this morning which is like totally not overrated. It's so good and it's so fun. Since I made it with the agave and it worked, I wanna try doing different mix-ins, like maple vanilla foam, like different flavored foams. So, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get updated when I post a new vlog and we'll try making new coffees and it's gonna be super fun. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Okay, so speaking of not feeling so great about uh, my body image, I decided that I'm gonna do some stretching, some yoga, just like a light, relaxing workout. Shane Dawson just uploaded a new conspiracy video, so I think I'm just going to stretch, hang out, and watch that. Just something like light, take my mind off of things. I'm not gonna force myself to film a video and get myself all worked up trying to find the perfect outfit and like film the perfect video and then get frustrated because I don't like it. Like I'm just not gonna do that to myself. I'm not gonna force myself to do something that's gonna upset me and not be like the best content or quality content that I wanna film. So I'm gonna skip that for today. Tomorrow's a new day. I could wake up and film that video tomorrow. So now I'm just gonna enjoy my Sunday, vlog it for you guys. And yeah, let's do a light little workout. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna do some hashtag skincare Sunday. And I figured why not share with you some of my favorite skincare products right now. I spray my face with some witch hazel. I use witch hazel as a toner just because that's what I have a lot of right now. Also wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing for the past hour, which is trying to either get groceries delivered or order groceries for pickup, which is like impossible to do right now. I'm gonna put on some of the Gloat by Truly Beauty and Erica Costell lip balm. It smells like peppermint and it has that really fun like whipped texture that's like TikTok crazy right now. And it kind of melts into an oil your lips um 
So my dad has Amazon Prime, so I was looking on the Whole Foods Amazon Prime and there was no time slots available for delivery. So I was like, okay, cool. Actually, no, first, first I was on the Stop and Shop website because I know that they have something called Peapod. So next I'm also gonna take something from Truly Beauty and it's called the Purple Rain Serum and it has retinol, glycolic acid, and antioxidants, which are super good for your skin. So I was looking for the Peapod thing and of course there was no delivery slot times available and it had until from Sunday until next Wednesday or April 18th, I think it was no time slots for delivery and i was like okay maybe i could do in-store pickup like you know just add stuff to the cart it'll be ready when i get there just go pick it up so i don't have to go inside and like shop around there was no option for that so then i'm like oh amazon prime has like the whole foods thing and every time i'm shopping in there i see like shoppers that work for whole foods like putting stuff in a cart in like paper bags and then people in the parking lot they park in a certain spot they hand them like their food and they go. And I'm like, oh cool, maybe I'll do that. My dad has Amazon Prime, I'm gonna order a bunch of stuff. Cool, not cool. So I'm on the Amazon, I'm on Amazon Prime, Whole Foods, whatever, adding stuff to my cart. No delivery time slots available. And then there's like no thing for the pickup also. And I was just like, I just wanna get groceries and I'm so hungry. And now I'm just like mad, so I'm like not even hungry anymore. I've been living off of canned beans and like frozen vegetables for the past like week and a half, which is fine. I'm very grateful that my dad has been making grocery store trips, but I just like wanted to buy some of my own stuff that like I personally like to buy because my family isn't vegan, so they don't eat all the same stuff that I do. And I don't mind buying my own groceries. So it was just like annoying, just annoying. And then this is probably my favorite moisturizer of all time the OC Malibu Atmosphere Protection Cream. And I wear this underneath makeup as a daily moisturizer. I put it over my serums and stuff to just lock everything in. Mm. And it just like smells really fresh and clean and it's a really light, non-greasy, not thick moisturizer, which I'm personally a fan of. I think I'm also about to get my period because my stomach is like blah, 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 blah. <sighs> maybe that's why I'm so annoyed right now maybe that's why I have like no patience and I'm starving and now I'm not starving and I'm annoyed and whatever and for my hair I've been using this high end hair and body oil with hemp and vegan collagen from Pacifica Beauty I just do one little pump of that in my hand because it is like an oil so I don't want to make my hair too greasy even though I haven't washed my hair so it is greasy already, so who cares at this point, honestly. And I was gonna go to the grocery store, like I have a mask and gloves and everything, and like I was just gonna go, but now like I was, oh, kids riding their bikes outside. Um, I was like watching the news and like we're hitting the apex of the coronavirus and like between like yesterday and like whatever days is like the highest chance that you can catch it. And I'm just like, I don't know if I wanna go. Like I feel like I might go to the grocery store and be like wearing my gloves and my mask and stuff and then start having a panic attack and like wanna leave. <sighs> I don't know. I do live really close to the grocery store and like I'm grateful that I can even go to the grocery store that I'm knock on wood, haven't gotten sick or anything and family's okay like I'm just like venting about like stuff that everybody else is going through like I'm not trying to like be like well wah, 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 like woe is me because I know that everybody is going through this right now and I'm not the only one but shit's frustrating y'all I just made the best popcorn my boyfriend's brother got me this popcorn maker for Christmas it's like a silicone bowl thing and you could put like any kind of popcorn kernels like the hard kernels in there that you want i put melted coconut oil and then old bay and cayenne pepper in it because for some reason i was in the mood for seasoned popcorn and i gave up on grocery shopping and i really wanted it so but i only put the seasoning on half so it really stuck to like half the kernels and then some of them are plain so it wasn't like too like salty or overpoweringly overpoweringly is that a word so like the flavor wasn't too overpowering, but it came out so good. 10 out of 10 recommend make homemade popcorn with Old Bay seasoning and cayenne if you like it spicy. So I'm just gonna eat my popcorn and chill. I'm watching an Alicia Marie video right now. I can't really imagine that anything else is gonna happen today or I'm gonna do anything else. I have to fold laundry, but I doubt that you guys wanna see that. If you do, well, let me know and I could fold some more laundry in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope that you're all staying happy, healthy, and safe. I have a really fun 
makeup challenge video coming out soon in a few days, so I'm choking on popcorn. Ring the notification bell and hit the subscribe button so that you could be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for all of your love and support, especially my friends and family that have been supporting my channel. It means the absolute world to me. And I will see you guys in my next video.